Hey everyone, today I'm super excited to share with you quite a few items that I had purchased at the drugstore. Um, most of them are claiming to be new to the market, uh, but overall they're really just new to me, so it really excited me to get my hands on them and share them with you. So if you're interested in seeing what those items are, please keep watching. First, starting off with foundation. Uh, this is actually a repurchase for me. I don't know why I ever stopped using it, but I'm glad that I got my hands on it again because they now packaged it with a pump and before it used to be just this screw off top where you would pour it onto the back of your hands or on your fingers, brushes, you name it. And it was kind of messy that way. Um, and to be honest, you wasted a lot of the product too. So now having it in the convenient pump I'm super excited about that. Uh, the shade that I got it in is 180. And then the next item that I purchased is the Master Conceal Concealer for dark circles and dark spots on my face. Um, my dark circles are always so hard for me to camouflage and that's what this is claiming to do. So excited to use this, hoping that it doesn't like collect in the fine lines and just really just blurs it out for me. So we'll see how this works. And speaking of blurring, um, I also got the Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. This says that it sets, mattifies, blurs, and smooths the skin. Um, I really don't use loose powders or anything like that, but I felt like why not try it? Um, again, new to the market, so it has to be good, right? Maybe not. We'll see. Maybelline has never gone wrong with me, so we'll see how that goes. Then. Along the same lines as the Master Fix, we got the Master Highlight Highlighting Blush. This one is kind of interesting. I usually use just like the solid blushes, whereas this one has different little bricks of like, shades of pink and shimmer bricks in there as well. So I like that. I like having like your two-in-one or multi-use products because I try to minimize the items that I put on my face. Um, but this you can kind of just get your swirl in there and put it on and you have your highlight and blush. That excites me so we'll see how this works as well. And then um, sticking with the, the bronzing and the blushing, we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, it looks pretty velvety in the packaging. Um, hopefully it's not like a, an orange hue to it. I, I can never find the right shade of bronzer for myself, so hopefully this will be the one. Um, and I like that it says that it's a rich, bronzy, buttery texture. I mean, come on, butter. Everything's better with butter, baby. <laughs> so we'll see how this looks. Um, yeah, excited about that one. Then also by a Physician's Formula, I purchased the Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio. And with this one, again, three shades of eyeliner. It has the Natural, Playful, and Dramatic Black. With these ones, you can kind of tailor your look. I like to take my liners and put it along the lash line and kind of smudge them out. And having these three like colors that are coordinated together, I feel like I can really master the um, almost smoky eye with it. So we'll see how this works for me. I'm not great with putting on eyeliner. I'm a hot mess when it comes to that. So we'll see how this goes. And then sticking with the eyes, I purchased this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow. The color is creme brulee, and it's almost like a um, like a nude, shimmery champagne color. And I love like your shimmers for your eyes, um, not ones with glitter in it, but just like that fine milled shimmer to it, um, almost like a satin finish. Those I love them, and then just like using these eyeliners in conjunction with it, it's just like your everyday look and that's what I'm about. So again, can't wait to use this. And then I also got a few new brushes. I The brushes that I have, all drugstore, I live by drugstore, um, they are by e.l.f. and Eco Tools, um, the, like the natural wooden handle brushes. Um, I love those brushes, but then I figured why not try to pick up something else step outside the box and I got the Real Techniques brushes. Uh, I got two different sets of them, so excited to use these. They 
I'm terrible. I opened up one of the packagings at the store and I felt them and they were so soft. So <laughs> I'm excited to use these. We'll see how it goes. The one that I got is the powder brush and then also the core collections. This one has, uh, it says the contour, pointed foundation brush, and the buffing brush. I probably won't use the foundation brush, brush for foundation. Um, I think it's just way too small. I might end up using it like for setting the under eye area or something like that, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how this all goes. Good Lord, can I get out of that phrase? <laughs> and then I also got um, some nail polishes by Wet n Wild. I love getting shellac on my nails. I know that a lot of people are against that. They feel like it's just really damaging to your nails, but I love it, and if I could do it at home and like save a couple dollars, I'm down for that, but we'll see how this goes. I don't have really high hopes for it. No um, gel nail polish that's from the drugstore or anything like that has ever worked for me. They still flake and chip, so we'll see how this goes. They were new, so why not try them? Um, the one shade that I have here is Stay Classy. It's almost like a... Um, Goodness, everyone calls it mauve or is it mauve? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I like that color, so figured I'd get that and then just a darker shade. This one is Under My Plum. Cute. Um, I don't know. I'm. It's cruelty free. That's got to be good. Right? <laughs> but love these colors, so hopefully they, they last on my nails. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Again, if you have used any of these products, please let me know. Um, I love to kind of just like research them and see what other people think about them, but we're all different, so I'll give them a try and then kind of update you later. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below and I will reply back to you as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, <laughs> everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.